What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and you probably thought we were done for today, as I said we'll see you tomorrow, but just kidding. I just can't count episodes. Anyway, let's see. Done with this ribbon, you are. Trink Velo, there you go. <coughs> let's talk to this dude. First thing we'll do is dismantle the old stuff. Lots of fucking calcite bracelets. Accessories. Already got a Mars satchel. It has double HP though. Lock this one. Unlock that one. Cross bags. Cross blocker. Calcite pendant. I don't think he finished that up. Let me check. Let me check real fast, just to make sure. And you did. Amber pendant done. That old thing. It's calcite waistcoat saved for. Her. You. Back to dismantling. Oop. Oop. Boots. Alright, that's everything. Oh, uh, we're good on that stuff. Daggers. Compare. Okay, we pair of fluoric daggers. Fluoric spear we don't have. Obvious loop, we just got fluoric paper. No, calcite. We have all the fluoric pendant. Huh? Do you have a fluoric pendant? Fluoric talisman. And fluoric waistcoat. All three of them. Uh, I'm not buying three of these. Alright, <clears throat> um, that's almost done. You can get started on the floor waistcoat. These other bitches wait. Switch you over to Chocolate Idol. First and foremost, let me enhance weapons. <clears throat> Orange spear sucks compared to the flurry spear, Jesus. So, let's see. About to just jump into the fight against Duders. I think we are. Let's do it! There they are. Which must mean they took out every one of the exorcists who went after them. Hey, I told them not to bother. Now, how did that sword of yours turn out? 
Exorcists, go and find your victory. Thanks. All right, let's get down to business. Not bad. You better not die too quickly on me. I want this to be fun. Come on, this one's bro. Already burned. Don't. Damn, no. She's going hard on the exorcists. a good fight I'll give you that but you're a freaking demon shouldn't you bring more to the table than pretty damn good Rangetsu style you don't have what it takes to win against the rightful heir don't count me out just yet I've got something to show you <laughs> Took his own sword, what a bitch. <laughs> now that was clever. Giving up one of your own hands to go for my neck. If I was just a second slower, I'd be dead now. I like it. This is what I've been looking for. All right, let's call it good here. Listen up. If you all want any hope of beating me, come find me once you're more skilled and better armed. <sighs> I'll cut you down. No matter how many times I lose. No matter how many years it takes. Mm. I was like, fuck, man, my dad is There broke. we go. That's the face I'm Shut looking for. So those. vicious. It's perfect. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Shouldn't you be worrying more about your own skin? The entire Abbey knows by now that you're a traitor. Uh, Shut up, fat cat. That guy, he was really strong. Yeah, he was. They all are. But we will beat him if we must. No matter what it takes. <sighs> the Von Elty is here. Let's get going. <laughs> Black Smith guy is just like, damn. Please, take me with you. I'll make a sword that surpasses Storm Howl yet. I know I will. But for another blade to beat Storm Howl, its wielder must be a swordsman of unmatched skill. Hey, Eisen. Got any room on this pile of wood scrap for a suit of armor? If not, make someone wear it. <laughs> Works for me. You heard him, Kurogane. Many thanks. OK, 
Okay, we're off to find Grimoire and decipher the book. You know where we're going, right, kiddo? Yeah, we're headed for the Isalt Archipelago in South Gand. Levels up. Velvet's demon hand. It's such a mysterious weapon. I can only imagine how much of a threat it will become to the Abbey. This calls for a clear-headed breakdown of everything I know about it so far. It changes shape in a flash, and could devour most anything. How must that feel, to devour something with your hand like that? But it doesn't devour the bandages that cover it up. Maybe they're protected with some sort of special art? Likewise, the rest of her outfit can't be ignored. One would think she wouldn't want to wear such ragged clothing, yet she clearly has no inclination of buying something new. I suppose that could be taken to mean she has some sort of attachment to it. But that top is really big for her. Like it was made for a man! Maybe she wears that outfit in memory of someone important to her. I'd better not touch it then. I know I may not look it, but I really am good at sewing. Maybe I should suggest mending her clothes rather than outright replacing them. On the other hand, that fabric looks like it would be hard to push a needle through. I could <laughs> like everyone in the background head. looking at her like. But the tougher Shut the fight, up. the more I get fired up. Of course, Lord Artorius would probably scold me if he heard me talking like that. Who'd scold you for what now? Oh, uh, well, I was thinking about sewing. I mean, your clothes, they're all beat up, and I thought that if I offered to mend them for you, you'd probably scold me, wouldn't you? You'd mend my clothes? Have they been worrying you that much? I mean, not like constantly or anything. It just crosses my mind from time to time. Are you good at it? Yes. I'm told I come across as awkward sometimes, but if nothing else, I'm good with my hands. I see. All right. If I ever need it done, I'll come to you. Good. Just leave it to me. Are you feeling all right? You're really sweating. The heat and the cold doesn't bother me at all. But you're a human, so you need to take care of yourself. And if you keep soaking in your own sweat, you'll catch a cold. Besides, I don't imagine it feels that great. You should keep washing and bathing on your own schedule, like however you did before falling in with us. Just let me know and I'll make it work. Because the guys aren't considerate enough to stop and ask you if you need to. Sure. Alright. Thanks. That was a surprisingly normal thing for her to say. I probably shouldn't bother with her clothes for now. We girls have to be considerate of each other. Oh, man. Alright. Some dialogues. Eisen, I thought you were supposed to be in Midgand. How did you end up here in Islegand? I thought I'd gotten used to you performing the impossible, but this time, I'm at a loss for words. We heard from the Bloodwings that the Abbey might have taken you guys out. Not this time, but our luck won't last forever. Think of this as a dry run for when I really kick the bucket. Aye, aye, first mate. More importantly, are you sure it's okay to bring an exorcist aboard? I've got my eye on her. If she does anything funny, I'll handle it. Got it! We'll be on our guard, too. One of these game things. Go over to the Blood Wings, turn that in. Probably made a pretty penny by now. level 27. Doubles the effect rate for the first strike in battle. That's pretty fucking nice. No, I'm not running all the way down there for that one cat so I don't care. The uh, question is, do I want to go all the way back to get that guy?
to. I am within five levels now. Oh, I know if I leave and I don't kill him, I'm gonna regret it, so... So, you guys made it. Whatever happened to that sword breaker? He's been dealt with. What are you doing here? After everything you said to me, I had a change of heart. I quit banditry. Thank you. I'm glad you listened to reason. What do you plan on doing from here on out? I'm heading to the capital. I plan on opening a restaurant for bandit cuisine. Bandit cuisine? Yeah. You get your hands on all sorts of food as a bandit. You gotta use what you have and still make a tasty meal. Like a wild mushroom omelet, minus the eggs. Or highwayman stew. It's like a hunter's stew, but, you know, made by bandits. That sounds... somewhat improper, actually. But I'd still love to visit after you open. Really? All right. <laughs> I'll be an upright citizen in no time. <laughs> Maybe even the kind of man you'd consider spending some time with. I'm rooting for you. Hey, were you actually listening to him? Of course I was. It's wonderful he's turned over a new leaf. Uh... Eleanor trying to smash. Alright. This sounds stupid. Because I just left that hellish hole of doom. Did you need something? No, not really. As you say. Why aren't you training with two swords? This is how I've always trained. 10,000 practice swings a day since I was a kid. I just wanted a single good swipe at Shigure. So I swung and swung, and eventually just naturally got to this point. That's incredible. Not really. I need to be prepared to face Shigure at any moment. But I've been thinking I should up it to a hundred thousand swings. A hundred thousand? Do you have any idea how much time that'll take? No. Nah. Even if you did one swing a second, you couldn't do that many in one day. Oh? But ten swings a second would do the trick. Rokuro... Even still, I know it would take more than a hundred thousand swings to be a match for Shigure. Not with one sword or with two. And you keep doing it, despite knowing it's pointless? That seems a little odd. I'm trying to defeat an undefeatable adversary. The whole damned idea is daft, as you put it. All I can do is recognize the fact and give it my best shot. Well, that's one way of looking at it. If only I could figure out how to stay up all night and still feel rested. Now there's a challenge I can't beat. You need to go to bed. A lack of sleep will get you killed faster than a lack of practice. <laughs> You're right. I'll do that. Uh, I really I hate myself for doing this. Just after I got out of the never-ending tunnels. Back into them I go. <sighs> I was thinking about popping one of those keep weak monsters away, but then I remember that everything here is a higher level than me. It doesn't matter. Alright. So, I need to go at, up, and then over. It's not that far. I mean, it is, but it's not. And on the bright side, once I kill him, I can just teleport out of here. It should teleport me back to town. After seeing that, I mean, I don't know when's the next time. So far, at least, um, it seems like I can't go back. I mean, I'm assuming later on I probably get the ability to kind of sail the ship wherever I want, because that's kind of in line with Tales games. Eventually, you hit a uh, period where it's just, you know, 
semi-open for your own, like you just go wherever you want, and there's an area to go do the main quest, but side stuff you can do as well. And I'd imagine this game would eventually hit that point, being in line with other Tales games, but... I mean, double status effect rate on the first ability, and looking at her first abilities, burn, attack down, paralysis, or stun. So, being able to open with a stun in combat, which would guarantee me getting a extra star, pretty potent. I mean, not guarantee, but still, double likelihood, and if I time it, if I open up with my block and that, probably multiplies on top of one another. I was expecting it to just be something boring, like 10,000 gold and two healing potions. Gotta get all those passives. We're finished here. Let's go. Heaven's Claw. Only available when Theronized. Hold right trigger after the first hit of a combo to activate. Theronization counts as a status ailment, meaning Velvet's HP cannot be restored by Jill's or Arts, while she is under its effect, however, she can still regain HP. Blah, 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 blah. to one soul, launches a foe into the air, and has a chance to lock down HP and PG recovery. So, devour, and then air combo juggles? It's just got pretty interesting. All the time to pick it up right before this fight's about to start. special. Okay. Now we're going to quick save. This party's been tearing it up so far, so let's go in with this. I don't think we have a chance! Oh. Oh.
I think my combo, aside from the first... Damn, it just AoE stunned everybody. Damn, and then there's the one shot. Guess what, asshole? I have life bottles this time. the bag and the flirt garment. We need any of these other ones. We need silky. You just finished flirt garment, so I'll put you on that. Blouse. You mastered something. Amber bag. Ooh. Took it out. Still though, I had to pop three separate 3BG specials to kill that damn thing. No joke. Hey, you there. That's one impressive sword you got. You know a lot about swords? I'm a novice swordsmith. Been at it for 20 years. Now I'm finally able to make a blade worthy of the name. 20 years? And still just a novice? It's a competitive world out there for a swordsmith, especially here on this island. But I heard many swordsmiths have given up. There's less ore around nowadays, and swords don't work against the demons. True, swords are useless against demons. Unless it's an exorcist that's using them. Kednick's weaponry has always been prized in Midgant. The Abbey recognized our talents, and now, business is booming. All the smiths here are grateful to the Abbey. They're keeping all of us alive and fed. Chest I'm missing. Not that chest. So, hope you guys are still enjoying it, and we will see you then with more tales.